This is Math 98, Practice Test 2. We're going to do problems 5 through 8 in this video. And um, so the first one, number 5, is x cubed to the 8th power. The directions say simplify, so that means do as much of the arithmetic as we can. Write all answers with positive exponents only, so I can't leave any negative exponents. So x cubed to the 8th power. So I'm thinking about, like, what to the 8th power means. And there's a couple ways to do this. One of them is just to you know, rationalize it, like think about it. So x cubed to the eighth, this means this times itself eight times. So that would be x cubed eight times, all multiplied together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then x cubed means x times itself three times. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, 21, 24. So I'll basically I have 24 x's all multiplied together here. x to the 24th. Notice that, and some of you are like, why'd you write it out like this? So too much work. Um, notice that I have eight of these x cubes all multiplied together. So I have x cubed eight times. So three times eight, that gives me 24 x's. Number six, a couple ways to think about that. Uh, this one. One of them is, we know negative exponents uh, take the reciprocal, like flip where it's at in the fraction. So I could rewrite this as x to the 8th over x to the 10th, and then do some reducing. Eight of the, These are 8x's. Each of these 8x's will um, divide out with 8 of these 10x's, you know, divide out to 1's. So 8 of these divide out 8 of these, leaving me 2 of them, still multiplied together, so squared in the denominator. That's one way to do it. Another way to think about this one is some of you uh, will remember, you know, we have a exponent times an exponent. We can just add these together. You know, we have 8 of them, then we have negative 10 of them. So 8 plus negative 10 is negative 2. x to the negative 2, which is the same as this, but remember our, our direction said positive exponents only. So then we could rewrite this as that. Number seven. This whole thing is squared. And th these are all multiplied together. So I know that the square is going to distribute across that multiplication. Another way to think about that, it, this is it's just this times itself. You could write it out and then just multiply the pieces together. I'm going to think of it as negative two squared multiplied by x cubed squared, multiplied by y to the fourth squared. Just squared each piece in there. Negative two squared is four. x cubed squared, just like up here. Uh, three of them, two times, so that's x to the sixth. y to the fourth squared, I have four y's. All of them are squared, so now I have eight y's all multiplied together. Number eight. I have this multiplied by this. So what I'm going to need to do on this one is take care of this cube and take care of the square, and then I'm going to multiply together what I can. So each piece in here is being cubed. So I have 2 cubed. Um, and again, this is multiplication. So that, that exponent is distributing across the multiplication. Then I have x squared cubed. Then I have y cubed. And that's multiplied by everything in here is squared. So this is 5 squared, x squared, y cubed squared. So let me start to resolve these. 2 cubed is 8, y squared cubed, I'm sorry, x squared cubed is x to the 6th. I have a y cubed. Uh, 5 squared, 25. x squared is x squared. y cubed squared is y to the 6th. So far so good. And so now what I can do is, uh, all these are multiplied together. So I can multiply in whatever order I want. So I'm going to multiply together things that I, that I can, can kind of combine with multiplication. So 8 times 25, I just think about quarters. That's, that's 8 quarters, so 400. Be like 4 bucks. Um, x to the 6th times x squared. I have 6 of them, 2 more of them, that's 8 of them. y cubed times y to the 6th, 3 of them, 6 more of them. y to the ninth. 